This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Welcome in our friend Richard Davenport of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, Whole Hawk Sports. RD, I was listening to Muss on Monday night talk about the game day atmosphere, uh, the just ability, the the chance to be on ESPN, not just in the morning, but at night, uh, the, how it helped in recruiting. Uh, did you notice a boost? Did, did you notice just the impact that College Game Day being here this weekend had on Arkansas basketball? Well, not only on basketball, but also football, because of, uh, Arkansas football had a junior day, and one of the things that they did, they spent about an hour uh, in Budwell Marina when uh, – game day was uh being broadcast so uh that was uh you know that was a plus for basketball and and for football and the kids uh most a lot of the kids that i've talked to as far as football uh mentioned that is one of the highlights is uh, being able to see that uh uh in bud walton arena and also uh emphasize the fan support of uh, uh of arkansas so uh it was a plus plus for both but uh and then i talked to parker Jefferson, uh, 6'10", 6'11", uh, big man in the 25 class, four-star, who has Arkansas ties. His mom played at Arkansas in basketball, and his dad played football at Arkansas. Uh, and uh, he, he, he kind of mentioned it, too. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it was a win-win for everybody when you, you get something like that in your, uh, uh, in your gymnasium. You mentioned football recruits. One of my best friends is from Nixon, Missouri, and I know there's an Arkansas. Is that the the guy? Is that Parker? Is that who you're referring to? The the offensive lineman. I, I can't remember the offensive lineman's name from Nix off the top of my head. Oh, oh no, you're talking about uh, Contrell. Jeez, uh, uh, and I'm, I'm forgetting the last name. I mean, first name, uh, and, and I shouldn't because he's a five star offensive lineman. Uh, uh, I believe that's. Uh, I believe that's uh, who you're talking about, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not looking at the not, not looking at uh, you know my notes or anything like that. And uh, but uh, I, I, I know kind of I know Petr- blank. I think uh, if I remember reading correctly, Bobby Petrino either had a scheduled visit or recent visit. Yeah, he did. He did. He did visit, and Coach uh, Mateos is also visited. And I, I'm going to kill myself uh, when I get off the phone because I'm. <laughs> I, you you don't forget uh, you don't forget a name uh, like him because he's 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 a truly a freak and I've written about him several times but can't remember the first name. Yeah, Richard Davenport with us on the McClarney Daniel Hotline. Richard, uh, these junior days they they added the third one and uh, they've been very popular. I know they've had a, 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 with kids coming in for for visits. Seems like there's a real focus on 25 and 26 and particularly 26. Uh, Guys, I, I noticed that kids as young as the eighth grade have been in some of the stories that, that that you've written lately. Why is it that these junior days have uh, have been such a success this year for Sam Pittman's program? Well, I, I think uh, one thing that this this staff has done, and I think it's starting to pay dividends, just because of the you know uh, uh, you know they've been there a while and they've been able to build relationships. Uh, and usually it takes two or three, two or three years to really build a relationship with a high school kid. So some of these guys that are visiting, they've already been talking to over the last year or so. And, uh, that's, that's, that's how they're able to get them on campus and just, just pure hard work and, and making sure that they, they know that they're wanted. And, and obviously they're putting out the offers, like you said, and, uh, that's part of the process. Uh, oftentimes. A kid will not visit uh, unless they have a, an offer. In the old days, you might be able to do that and then maybe offer later. But And that still happens. But uh, oftentimes kids uh, and parents will say, well, you know, until they offer, we won't visit. So uh, that's another thing. They, they've been offering early, and, then, and you're seeing that uh, even even today. Yeah. You know, and, and – when it comes to, to to looking at that, I mean, to, the, the the image I get from the outside, just as a as a fan and observer and someone doing this radio show, is Sam Pittman's not planning to, for for a one year run here. He you know he's planning for a long term future. At least from the outside looking in, he's going about his business as though this is uh, he's he's got a, an extended period of time compared to to what some think will be a shorter run. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think everybody knows that. 
uh, you know, they have to win next year to to uh, continue to go forward. But uh, uh, you know, you, that you 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 continue to recruit and recruit hard because uh, you, you slack off, uh, it's it's going to catch up with you. And, uh, and 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 let's face it, some of the things, some of the problems that well, not some. The main problem of of, of last year goes back to recruiting. The first two years that uh, of Coach Pittman's uh, time, uh, they you know, basically every, every every guy of the six guys that they signed in the first two recruiting classes is no longer there, and that that was a big reason why probably the offensive line was in, in the shape that it was. Was it because the first two classes uh, wasn't very productive, as far as uh, keeping uh, you know good quality offensive linemen on campus? Richard Davenport with us here on the McCarty Daniel Ho- on Whole Hog Sports Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Richard, speaking of working hard, Drake Greenlaw and the San Francisco 49ers move on against Frank Ragnow and the Lions in his second Super Bowl. I wonder if you could take us back a little bit to his recruiting process. And uh, I remember watching him a little bit in high school. I got a chance to play him in some pickup basketball back in the day. What do you remember about Dre's early recruiting process in Fayetteville? Well, you know, he was committed to Arkansas State, and Arkansas kind of took took a late uh, a late look at him. And I remember Randy Shannon going to his uh, uh, one of his games to uh, scout him, and you know, and then shortly after that, they extended an offer, and then that kind of got the wheels rolling for him to to be a Razorback. But I, I you know, not only just uh, you know his recruiting, I, I just remember, you know, obviously he was uh, nicknamed Big Big Play, uh, Big Play Dre. Uh, yeah, big blade Trey and by Coach Patton, and I, I remember going to uh, Fayetteville uh, Rogers game, and Rogers was up. Uh, uh, they just scored. Uh, Qualls was the quarterback then. Josh Qualls was the quarterback for for Rogers, and obviously he was a playmaker for them. And, and they scored and, and got ahead uh, with maybe I don't know maybe. 10, 15 seconds. I can't remember exactly how much more time there was in the fourth quarter, uh, but they kick off and Dre, Dre gets the uh, kickoff, and I'm walking out thinking it, it, it's done. And as I'm walking out, uh, I'm seeing him return the kickoff, and he returns it for for a touchdown. And um, I mean, that's just he, he just made plays after play after play, uh, not only on defense but elsewhere. But uh, uh, he, he was a late offer, and they gave him one, and, and boom, and look, look, look where he is now. Richard, you have a unique perspective of living in Little Rock for a number of years. Now you're up in northwest Arkansas, and I wonder from a guy that's covered high school football forever, what could Central Arkansas high school football coaches, teams, and players learn from what seemingly has happened in northwest Arkansas with what it seems to be an uptick in high school football, well, I think they, I think they, learn, I think they've learned quite a bit, and I think that's why you're seeing so much more success in the Central Arkansas area about the investing in, in into the programs. You look at Bryant, you look at Conway, uh, you, you look at uh, Little Rock Parkview. Uh, I mean, uh, Central Arkansas is uh, is uh, definitely on the move uh, uh, up as far as. What they what they've done in the past, as far as high school football, and uh, and 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 you can you can look at, at what Northwest Arkansas did for many of years and can can, can he, continues to do. You know, a prime example, Fayetteville won in the state championship. Uh, that that kind of that kind of motivated Central Arkansas to get their act together, and, and I think that's uh, made the football in the state overall just that, that much better. Yeah. And you know, I think we'll continue uh, continue to see that that grow and change. Uh, I think you start to see some of that success, and I I think it just like anything else, we all it comes back to coaching. I mean, I think you look at Little Rock Parkview and what's happened with uh, Brad Bolding and his brother coming in there, and the success that they've had over the last few years. Man, when you hire the right coach, good things seem to seem to happen. Uh, public yeah, school, private exactly. school, it. I mean, it, it, it's, a to me, a pretty simple solution. You just kind of go get the right coach. Now, who that is, that's the harder part. But the right coach is always the answer. Yeah, because, there, you, you know, everybody, every, anybody knows anything about high school football, a lot of it's just getting the kids to come out and play and uh, and, and getting them out of the hallway and, and, 
and it takes a, a highly motivated uh, coach to be able to do that and get the kids to, to, to realize, hey, we, we can do something here. And, uh, and then, then you get, then you win two state titles like, uh, Parview's done. I mean, it's not so, uh, it's not so difficult getting kids out of the, uh, uh, you know, out of the hallway. I mean, they're probably most of them are not, not, a, not, not, not necessarily just walking the hallway. Now they're, they're, they're playing football. So, uh, that it, it just takes, uh, just takes that right coach, like you said, and that's, that's, that, that's all levels, college football. Uh, professional football, you get the right coach and uh, you, you can you can turn things around. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.